2012. So I cannot believe it is the new year. I'm gonna be filming for you all of my favorite beauty products that I've been using throughout this past year of 2011. So let's just get started. The first one I'm just gonna show you here is a staple repeat for the past years. This is one item I will probably always forever use. And that's my Revlon Color Stay Liquid Foundation. And I use the combination oily um, formula and the color I always purchase it in is in a warm golden. It's perfect during the summer. During the winter it's a little tiny bit dark but I'm okay with that because I'll just blend it in well and it kind of gives me a little bit of color too since I'm in lighter shades in the winter. So love that. This is kind of newer to my favorites of the year. It kind of caught on at the very end there but it's absolutely hands down favorite of mine and that's the um, Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles Treatment Concealer. Oh my goodness, mouthful. But it's this one that everybody has been raving about probably within the last two months or so and it's the one with a little smudge top um, and I love it. It's I absolutely love it. The color I have it in is in Fair and it does wonders for your eyes. It like depuffs and smooths out the whole under eye area. It does a really great job of highlighting and it has really great staying power so I absolutely love it. The next product that I've been using throughout the year, this one I've been using as kind of like a contour slash bronze at the same time and it's very inexpensive. Again, another drugstore product and it's the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Face Powder. This is like the very famous, very popular product here on YouTube and it's the Sunny Bronzer. Very inexpensive. I think it's like $3 or something like that. But as you can see, hitting pan on that and I've been just basically using it almost on a daily basis as my uh, contour. And like I said, bronzing too. This next product is discontinued, but I still wanted to put it in this video because this was my absolute favorite probably the last half of the year and I still have it because it's discontinued and I don't want it to run out. Um, and that's the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer. And the color I have it in is in light ivory. So um, it's the mousse concealer. It comes in a little pot like this. And I loved this concealer. Oh my gosh. It blended so well and it was so light and airy. It never settled into your fine lines under your eyes. I absolutely loved this. And I really wish, Maybelline, you would bring this back on the shelves. You have all the other Dream Mousse products except for the concealer. And I have no idea why they discontinued it. But I love this it. This is another product that kind of caught in at the end of the year. Um, and that is the Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Blush. And this is in Pearlescent Pink. And this is another drugstore product. So inexpensive. I think it was $3. And this is what the blush looks like. And it looks very shimmery in the pan. But it's the most gorgeous, warm, peachy pink tone color ever. I love this. It's great all year round. And it blends so amazing. I've never had a blush like that that blends so well. I mean, even out of my MAC blushes and everything, I mean, I just, I love, love, love this blush. It's amazing. This is another one that's kind of newer, um, and it's from Coastal Scents. It's the 10 Blush Palette. Um, you can get this anywhere, really, uh, but I ordered mine online at CoastalScents.com, and it's the palette that comes with 10 blush colors in it. And I love it because you have just a really great variety of all your different tones of colors in there. So um, some of my favorites I'll just point out to you so you have an idea. Um, I love this. These two peach colors here are really pretty. Love those. Um, this one is a really pretty pink tone. This is a great kind of nude, neutral toned blush. Um, but And then this one as well. It's kind of like a plummy nude. But all these other colors, the brighter ones, are going to be really wonderful during the summer as well. So, I mean, you're set if you have something like this. Very inexpensive as well. So, my absolute favorite eyeshadow product of 2011 is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. For sure, hands down. I mean, this is just the most versatile, amazing palette. And as you can see, I really have used this almost on a daily basis ever since I purchased this product. And I believe I got it, I think this came out last 
winter. And so, I mean, I've really been using this for almost like a whole year now, I think, if I'm remembering right. But um, as you can see, I've hit pan on plenty of the colors, but there's so many different looks you can do with that. Um, I've done several over the year with this as well. So if you're interested, go ahead and just search my videos and you'll see lots of those. But I love this palette. You can get it at Sephora, um, Ulta, or online at UrbanDecay.com. And it's amazing and worth every penny. Yes, it's around $50, but it's totally, totally worth it. I mean, you're covered with this palette. The next eye product uh, is my favorite. It's another kind of expensive product, um, but it's my MAC Paint Pots. And my absolute hands down favorite that I finished sadly this year, I mean it's good, but I'm so sad that it's gone, so I'll have to repurchase that, um, is my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is my all time favorite eyeshadow primer. I absolutely love it to death. As you can see, it's all gone, but all it is, it's just, a light skin toned um, eyeshadow primer. There's no shimmer to it or anything like that, but it is so amazing. The other one that I have is in Bare Study. I just got it to show you what the pot actually would look like. I'm so gonna repurchase the Painterly. It's my absolute favorite. Love it to death. It's worth every penny as well. Um, another MAC product here. This was limited edition, but there's so many different eyeliners out there that are very similar um, that you can definitely purchase from other companies as well. And this is the I Get No Kick Eye Coal. And as you can see, it's like a pearly, nude, shimmery um, eyeliner. And I loved to use this in my waterline. I used it in my tear duct to highlight. Sometimes I could even smudge it underneath my eyebrow for a highlight as well. I mean, it's very, very versatile, and I love putting a nice light white or pearl or something that's nude that just really makes your eyes brighten up and open. So I'm kind of was torn on what I should show you, but what I used for most of this year was my Maybelline Line Stiletto. It's the liquid eyeliner, and which is kind of surprising because I really don't like liquid lining that well, but this one worked very well for me, and I loved the brush. Um, it's like that felt tip kind, and it worked for me. I used this almost all year pretty much but my absolute favorite which I think I used the more beginning half of the 2011 year um, was gel liner and the one I currently have is from Coastal since I just wanted to show you this is not necessarily maybe my favorite of the whole entire year but this is what I'm currently using is I absolutely love gel liner that's what I wanted to get my point across is gel liner is my absolute favorite way to line my eyes um, so this is what I've been using now the one that I was using before this um, was the L'Oreal Hip um, Cream Liner, which is a gel liner, and as well, you can get that at, at drugstores too, but I love gel liner. Um, I have a new favorite mascara. I've tried endless amounts and different types of mascaras throughout this whole year, and I just am very picky, I guess, with the way I want my eyelashes to look, and I really never find that. It's really hard, and um, so the newest favorite that I have that's like up there with my CoverGo Lash Blast, that's always my favorite, this is probably taking its place now, I think, um, and that's the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara, and I love the wand, I love the application, it's got the rubbery bristles, and it does such an amazing job. I love this mascara, so that's a favorite as well. I mean, I didn't get really too playful with my lip products this year, I guess. All of my colors that I have here are pretty much all pretty identical. So, um, I guess my color of choice um, that I loved for this year is like the peachy nude tone lip lipsticks, lip glosses, whatever. Um, well, first I'll show you. I fell in love with the EOS Lip Balms. This is a newer one I just recently repurchased, but um, I went through my first one pretty quickly. And these are the best lip balms I've ever used. I hate using lip balm and chapsticks because they always have that medicated, yucky, gross tasting. I hated the way it felt on my lips. And this has like um, 
different ingredients in it. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but these are amazing. They don't thicken up on your mouth. They don't taste disgusting if they get in your mouth. So, I mean, they work so well. I love that. As far as lip gloss, this was probably the most used lip gloss I had throughout the whole entire year. And that's my Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in Peach Petal. This is the perfect milky nude color. It's like a light toned pink nude. Um, love this to death. You can wear it by itself and of course it looks great over a nude or pink lipstick as well. But oh my gosh, I use this for ev almost every day. It's always in my purse. This is a really great one too. These two go so well together. And this is the MAC Cream Sheen in Creme de Nude. And that's what it looks like. It's your basic nude lipstick. It looks so good and it's a perfect nude. I mean, it's just perfect. And the next product I have here that's pretty similar, I'll show you, they're a little bit different. This one here is a little bit on the pinkier side. Uh, this is Hue. And as you can tell, I loved it this year. And this is definitely a repurchase product as well. Um, this is a glaze finish and it's so gorgeous. It's the perfect pinky nude color. It's got more pink in it than um, Creme de Nude does. So it's a little bit more wearable during the day and everything. So I love it. I absolutely am obsessed with MAC lip products. They're my favorite. The last product I have here is a newer one, but I love and I can't wait to repurchase more of these throughout the year. And that's the Revlon Lip Butters. The one I'm going to show you here is as well a nude color, and it's in Creme Brulee. This is probably one of their most popular ones, I bet. But this is their nude colored one, and I love this one because it's a little bit more on the brown side. I'm wearing it today. It's a great color. You can wear it day or night, and I love these lip butters. They are so creamy. It's like the perfect combination of lip, like lip balm lip gloss and lipstick. It feels so smooth and I wouldn't say moisturizing because it does kind of wear off quickly I feel but I love it. The color pigmentation is so great on these too. You would never imagine. I don't know it's just surprising but I love these and I can't wait to get more. So those are all of my favorite beauty products I've been using throughout this whole entire year from beginning to end, some of them new, some of them old, but I love every single one of these products and definitely recommend them. So if you have any questions on any of these products, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I wish you all a very happy new year. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.